Hare Krishna. Jai Radha Madhava Kunjabihari Jai Radha Madhava Kunjabihari Gopi Janavallabha Girivar Dhari Yashodanandana Brajdana Ranjana Yash Yamunati Ravanachari Jai Radha Madhava Kunjabihari Gopi Jana Vallabha Girivar Dhari Yashodanandana Vrajjana Ranjana Yash Yamunati Ravan Chari Jai Radha Madhava Kanjabihari Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare.
हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे जय राधा माधव तुंज बिहारी नित्य गो प्रेम आनंदे हरि हरि बोल गंथराज श्रीमद भागवतम की जय नित्य नंद त्रयोदशी की जय शिला प्रभुपाद की जनंत कौरी वैष्णव विंद की जय नित्य गो प्रेम आनंदे ट्वेला संकीर्तन और नित्य नित्य तुरंत शिक्षित जाए हरे कृष्ण ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय नारायण नमस्कृत नरम चैवा नरोत्तम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जय मुदीर शवता स्वकथा कृष्ण पुण्य श्रवण कीर्तन हृदय तस्थ्य भद्राणी विधुनौति सुहसता नष्ट प्रायश भद्रेशु नित्यम भागवत सेवया भगवते उत्तम श्लोके भक्तिर भवती नष्ट की हरे कृष्ण सो टुडे विल बी कवरिंग श्रीमद भागवतम सिक्स कैंटो चैप्टर फोर्टीन किंग चित्रकेतु लेमेंटेशन सो इन द प्रीवियस क्लास वी हर्ड अबाउट श्रीमद भागवतम सिक्स कैंटो चैप्टर थर्टीन किंग इंद्र अफ्लिक्टेड बाय सिंफुल रिएक्शन 
And also we covered the story of Nahusha, where the lesson learned was power pollutes and absolute power pollutes absolutely. So even though he was a very religious and righteous king, because he was given a position that he could not contain himself, he got polluted. And then afterwards, how? By the mercy of Yudhishthir, and of course, Agastamani, he was relieved from that pollution. So he was cleansed in the process. And here, we'll be covering King Chitraketu's lamentation following uh, Parishad Maharaj's inquiry. So let's cover the first verse. Srimad Bhagavatam, 6th Canto, Chapter 14, Verse 1. Shri Parikshid Uvacha Rajasthama Sobhavasya Brahma Vratrasya Papan Manaha Narayane Bhagavati Katham Asid Dramati Shri Parikshid Uvacha King Parikshit inquired, Rajaha, of the mode of passion, Tamaha, and of the mode of ignorance, Swabhavasya, having a nature, Brahman, O learned Brahman, Vrtasya, of Vritrasur, Papmanaha, who was supposedly sinful. Narayani, in Lord Narayan, Bhagavati, the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Katham, how? Asit, was there. Drida, very strong. Matihi, consciousness. Everyone is obsessed with the modes of passion and ignorance. However, unless one conquers these modes and comes to the platform of goodness, there is no chance of one's becoming a pure devotee. This is confirmed by Lord Krishna himself in Bhagavad Gita 7.28. Yesham tu antigatam papam janana punya karmanam te dvandva moha nirmukta bhajante maam dhrinvataha Persons who have acted piously in previous lives and in this life, whose sinful actions are completely eradicated and who are freed from the duality of delusion, engage themselves in my service with determination. Since Vritrasura was among the demons, Maharaj Parikshit wondered how it was possible for him to have become such an exalted devotee. Hare Krishna. O Magyana Timrandasya Gyananjana Shalakaya Chakshurun Militam Yena Tasmay Shri Guruve Namaha Mukham Karoti Vachalam Pangum Langhayate Girim Yat Kripata Daham Vande Shri Gurum Dina Taranam Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna. So sometimes, you know, when we look at materialists, they are so much in the mode of passion to make money and satisfy the senses. And sometimes even when they get the mercy, they are not so conscious even of the mercy that flows through the devotees of Lord Krishna. Uh, this is an instance, again, I'm just giving you this for the sake of understanding the concept that when you take to the shelter of the Lord and His devotees, then we should be very much conscious of the philosophy as well. So, one materialist got the mercy and finally got initiated, right? So, his friend asked him, oh, why do you go through in initiation? So, he's like, that way I'm washed off all my reactions of sinful activities in my life. You know, not this life, but all the lives. I'm like starting with scratch one, like clean slate, right? Everything is scratched off. So his friend asked, so what are you going to do? 
now that you have washed off of all your sins. So the person who had received the initiation, he said, well, I have to discover new ones. <laughs> That's the wrong mindset, right? <laughs> Means the clean slate is for you to engage in devotional service. Guru, your spiritual master has taken up all your reactions for your activities, past activities. So all those sins that you had performed, have been, you have been washed off. And you have been given this new, you know, vision, chakshisha, right? On Militam Yena, Tasme Shri Guru Venamaha. So we worship the spiritual master as a servant god, you know. You know, non different from Krishna, we think, but at the same time, he's the servant. So today is uh, Nityananda Taradeshi. And Nityananda Prabhu is Guru, right? He's the, you know, supreme Guru. And at the same time, he is Vishnu Tattva. So he's also non different from, you know, he's also referred to as Supreme Personality of Godhead. So it is very important to understand that, yes, he is a Vishnu Tattva, he is the Supreme Personality of God, that he is the original Adi Guru. Yet at the same time, his mood is that of serving Krishna. His, the, his mood is that of serving Lord Goranga. And Lord Goranga is Bahar Radha Antar Krishna. So it is Lord Krishna himself appearing in the mood of Radharani as a devotee. Word Radha comes from Radhita, right? Radhita means the one who is the topmost devotee. So that's how we take it, understand. And so when our spiritual master has taken up and give us this blessing that we are clean, you know, starting fresh, then we should engage that, take that opportunity to engage in devotional service and engage in Vaishnava Seva and engage in more Shiv, Ashanam, Kirtanam, Smaranam so that we get further and further cleansed. And in this purport, as Srila Prabhupada says, that one has to come to the mood of goodness because cleanliness is next to godliness. So we all know this. This is a fact, right? Early to bed, early to rise makes a man healthy, wealthy and wise. These are facts. So shall, so shall you sow, so shall you reap, right? As you sow, so shall you reap. So these are all facts of life. So the, every action has an equal and opposite reaction. However, in devotional service, we are all blessed because those, that is, you know, not karma or vikarma, it's a karma. And we develop the account, we get the currency that is valid to be able to cross over this material world. And it starts with ch simply with the chanting of Mahamantra. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna. So, I have collected six lessons. Uh, this class will be short. We will wrap it up in 15 minutes or so. Uh, but at the same time, I wanted to kind of quickly go through the lessons and then go through this uh, chapter, which is full of philosophy at the same time. Uh, is full of uh, lessons to learn and so forth. So, here, when Parikshit Maharaj is asking in the purpose, Srila Prabhupada explains that, you know, Shukdev Goswami is going to respond. Yet there is a verse coming which is referring that Sutta Goswami gives, you know, at Namasharanya, that hearing this question from Parikshit Maharaj, Shukdev Goswami responded as thus. This is to keep us aligned that, yes, Shukdev Goswami is giving this instructions and response to the question that Parikshit Maharaj has asked at the bank of Yamuna in Delhi, right, in the Prastha. While Sutta Goswami in Namasharanya is addressing thousands of sages whose spokesperson is Shana Karishi. So here, uh, and also, it's described very nicely that there are four classes of men, karmis, gyanis, yogis, and bhaktas. And people who are karmis, they, you know, they tend to get frustrated again and again, trying to seek, you know, anand by abhyasat. So, we are all seeking happiness. But then karmis, they, when they do a lot of endeavor and they see that even that endeavor did not result in the happiness, because sense gratification is just pouring ghee in the fire, hoping that the fire will burn out. <laughs> right? The senses are like those snakes that keep biting us if we keep feeding them more and more milk. 
they become more and more venomous. So, it is very important for us to understand that we have to, you know, serve Rishikesha, the master of the senses, and only then the senses get satisfied. So, there is a common tendency of karmis to become jnanis, to become, okay, let me get the knowledge, because what I am doing is not right, right? What I am practicing is not right. So, let me get the knowledge, and knowledge comes from Vedas. And Vedas are full of these flowery words, and this is where the reference is in this chapter, that sometimes the flowery words also cause some distraction. And people get distracted seeking sense gratification or happiness in that process. And one has to, you know, and of the jnanis, Srila Prabhupada explains, there are two types of jnanis. The ones who are impersonalists and the other ones who are personalists. Ones who take to devotional service and become devotees of the Lord, and others are ones who are seeking only Brahman, right? So they are saying that everything is nil, Brahman, Satya, Jagat, Mithya. So they have the concept that this material world is illusion. Well, it's temporary from our philosophy, but they think that it's illusion and the only truth is Brahman. And then the concept is that if I merge into Brahman, then I become Brahman, right? So this is Adhigala Jagari Chalkata Jaya, an incomplete knowledge when attained causes this, you know, uh, tendency of falling out. And this is what is happening in this case. And it actually has been reflected in our history as well. Some, you know, when Iskand was first founded and so forth, and Srila Prabhupada had amazing devotees. It was, you know, once Srila Prabhupada said, I prayed to Lord Chaitanya and Mahaguru Maharaj for one moon, and I have received hundreds of moon-like boys and girls, right? Yet at the same time, looking from Nahusha's story, power pollutes and sometimes it even causes bewilderment, right? It causes someone to speculate. So, Srila Prabhupada formed GBC and then he also had initiated many of the, his disciples as sannyasis. So, in, while visiting New Vrindavan, these sannyasis, they, you know, some of them felt like, now that Srila Prabhupada has given us this position, we need to glorify him more. So they, you know, by mistake, you know, it's just a mistake because as the verse says, that sometimes, you know, there is bewilderment that occurs, even at the sannyas stage. So they started saying, oh, when you read Bhagavad Gita, you should not read it as Sri Bhagavan Uvacha, you should read it as Srila Prabhupada Uvacha. And many devotees, they gave up, you know, they were like so much, and they was even saying that, you know, you should not chant Hare Krishna Maha Mantra unless you are chanting in a pure state, like, you know, with feeling. And that is not what Srila Prabhupada has said. So many devotees, you know, as part of my GBC and others, they inquire from Srila Prabhupada. Srila Prabhupada said, oh, so if they are saying that the spiritual master is God, then they can become God once they become the spiritual master. And that is nonsense. That is Mayavad philosophy. That is not Vaishnava philosophy. And he very clearly identified that the spiritual master is the servant God, while Lord Krishna is the master God. And the spiritual master is, you know, Adi Guru. He is following Adi Guru. Lord Nityananda's shelter. So again, and there are four paramparas, right? Four sampradayas, disciplic successions. We are in Brahma Sampradaya, this disciplic succession is starting from Lord Brahma. Then there is Rudra Sampradaya. The disciplic succession, the parampara is starting from Lord Shiva. And then we have uh, Shri Sampradaya from Goddess Lakshmi. And then Kumar Sampradaya from the Chatur Kumaras. So it's very important to kind of like understand. And then sometimes it's very important to ask questions, right? When you have doubts, you, all, you should ask questions. And so glad that these devotees, they took the courage to ask this question of Srila Prabhupada and Srila Prabhupada, you know, clarified the situation. And then just by chanting, even if you are chanting offensively, it will clear the mind and it will clear the heart. And so, you will get purified over the, so you will have Nama Bhas. So, Nama Pra to Nama Bhas to, you know, Shuddha Nam. So, those are the different stages that one goes through. So, similarly, when you are asking questions, you know, sometimes when Srila Prabhupada was in New York and he saw a billboard and he said, is there sex after life? <laughs> There's a question on the billboard. And Srila Prabhupada said, see the sense gratification. I'm paraphrasing some of the statements. 
is like they are expecting that they, if there is sex after life, after you know this life, then I'm okay. And that's like a drunkard. Once he was, uh, you know, he meets someone and the person says, Oh, you drink alcohol, you're intoxication, all, you're going to hell. He said, My brother also drinks. He's also going to hell. My father also drinks. He's also going to hell. My sister also drinks. She's also going to hell. My uncles also drink. They're also going to hell. Then the drunkard says, Well, then, if all my relatives are there, then it's not hell, it's heaven. <laughs> so the mindset is if there is sex after life, then I don't have to worry because I am living for sense gratification and sex is the main source of sense gratification. So it will continue. My sense gratification will continue after life. And Srila Prabhupada laughed and said, Yes, as cats and dogs, it will continue. <laughs> because if you behave like cats and dogs, you'll end up being cats and dogs, right? That's a common perception. That's how the material energy works. So, this is material mindset where they do not understand the importance of human life, the blessing that we have received. And at the same time, asking questions is very, very important. Uh, when Sachinan Maharaj, he was interacting before taking to Krishna consciousness, uh, again, you know, taking, uh, joining the society, he was interacting with many German devotees. And at that time, he had some doubts. So he summed up he, all his doubts in one question. And he was waiting for Srila Prabhupada to come so that he can ask that question. Right? So when Srila Prabhupada came, he asked this question. Why did Krishna created Maya? Which, why did Krishna create Maya, which is only good for keeping us bound in birth and death? So when he asked this question first time, Srila Prabhupada didn't hear it. So the secretary asked him to repeat the question. So again he repeats the question: Why did Krishna create Maya, which is only good for keeping us bound in birth and death? Srila Prabhupada shouted, "Not Krishna created Maya. You created Maya." You know completely shattering his question through and through and then Srila Prabhupada very nicely go, went on elaborating as to how living entity is to be blamed for having separated you know the living entity itself from Krishna and then seeking to lord over you know to be the enjoyer instead of serving the supreme enjoyer and he had actually cut through the maya of Shachinan and Swami at that time and then immediately, Shashanan Maharaj, he took to the shelter of Srila Prabhupada. So again, we take shelter of spiritual master so that we get proper guidance, right? And asking question is a very important step. Tad viddhi pranipatena pari prashnena sevya obdek shanti tajkyanam gyaninas tattu dashina. You know, because the uh, devotee, the pure devotees, they have seen the truth. And we serve them, we serve our spiritual master, and then we inquire submissively so that they can reveal the truth to us because they have seen it. So here, Shukdev Goswami is responding to Parishan Maharaj's question that how could Vatrasur be, you know, he would have developed, how could he have developed the love of Godhead? And Shukdev Goswami says that in his previous birth, he was actually. You know, residing in the province of Surasena, and he was the ruler of the earth. And he was such a righteous ruler that the earth was providing everything very nicely. So that comes from Isha Vasya principle, right? When a ruler is very righteous, then everything will be provided. So that's, you know, the injunction from the Shastra. So as he was providing very nicely, and then there is something lacking, right? So this king, he had 10 million wives. 10 million is one crore wives. But he did not have a single son. Right? So this is where it comes from the fact that uh, that he wanted son. So he married. And see, being a Kshatriya, you, if you don't get the son from the first wife, they could marry multiple times. So he married, but just by chance, all were barren. So at that time, he was very much in lamenting state. Yet at the same time, somebody can ask the question, that why didn't he take to Krishna consciousness, right? Why didn't he take to devotional service, if he was really frustrated, like we are talking about, the coming so frustrated. Then the answer is in Queen Kunti's prayer. 
चन्मेश्वरया शुता शिवभिर एधमाना मधपुमा नेवार हत्य अभिधातु वै तां किंचन कोचर गोचरम सो इट इज वेरी क्लियरली रिवील्ड दैट पीपल हु आर जन्मेश्वरया शुता शिवभिर हु हैव हाई बर्थ हु हैव लॉट ऑफ ऑपिलेंस एश्वरया Shruta is knowledge. They have a lot of education, good education. And who are very beautiful. He was very beautiful, very handsome, and very well endowed, good uh, physical features. So such persons, it's very difficult for them to approach the Lord with feelings. While one who is distressed, right, as well as one who doesn't have anything, can very easily approach the Lord. So this is what was the case, why he had not taken. Yet at the same time, Angira Rishi, he visits him. And he said that since Angira Rishi didn't have an engagement, he came. So it was not a predefined engagement. So a preacher wants to find the engagement, right? If they have any opportunity. And this is the ruler of the planet Earth. If the ruler becomes a devotee, then everyone becomes a devotee, right? That's the common perception, uh, means, as Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita, that whatever important men fall, do, the others follow. General populace follow. So he goes to uh, meet King Chitraketu, and Ch- King Chitraketu serves him very nicely. And at that time, there are some lessons being revealed. So at that time, being very happy, he says that how are the seven elements? Are you happy? How are those doing? So the total material energy, the ego, and the five objects of sense gratification, when they are properly situated, then one is happy. So in essence, when one's mind is controlled, then one is happy. And then a leader has seven elements that protects the leader. His instructor, Swami or spiritual master or guru. His ministers, his kingdom, his fort, his treasury, his royal order and his friends. So those things, when they are in, you know, there in favor of the king, then the king is very well protected. And then there is a con- uh, concept of interdependence, servant leadership. So a king listens and follows the instructions of his sub- associates, and the associates are happy and king is happy because he's following their direction. Yet at the same time, they serve him and give him gifts and perform activities as per his orders. So it's not that once there is a king, then everyone just has to follow the order. The king should also seek instructions and advice from his associates. So that's the lesson. And then he asks the Rishi, Angira Rishi, to please, you know, help him get a son. So Angira Rishi performs a fire sacrifice and gives sweet rice to Twashta. And that is then given to the king. And then he gives it to the first wife, Krita Dyuti. And who when eats it, you know, and after you know you know meets with the king. You know, she becomes pregnant. She develops the baby. And at that time, now Tushta is involved here. And Vritrasur, King Chitrakata in his next birth, becomes the son of Tushta. Right? <coughs> Devan Deva Yajo Yanti. The worship of demigods go to the demigods planet. That's also been very nicely proved. Yes, again, in Bhagavad Gita it said, so King Chetraketu in his next birth becomes the son of Tushta as Pratrasu. Okay, now the and at that time the sage leaves saying that your son will be your cause of jubilation and lamentation. King thinks, okay, jubilation because this is my only son and finally I have a son, I have been waiting for a son and lamentation is because he will be a spoiled son, right? Because I will pamper him. That's what he thinks. Doesn't know exactly what the cause is. <coughs> However, he has only one wife who has son. The other, right, of the 10 million, the other queens, they do not have the son. They are all barren and now they become envious. And because of the increased envy over a period of time, okay, because of the time, it is, um, they become envious and uh, they administer poison to the kid. Hare Krishna. Shishi Gaura Nitai Ki Jai. Shishi Radha Madan Mohan Ki Jai. 
श्री श्री सीताराम लक्ष्मण हनुमान की जय शिला प्रभुपात की जनंत कौरी वैष्णव विंद की जय सो हियर दे हैव एडमिनिस्टर्ड पॉइजन एंड नाउ क्वीन ड्यूटी यू नो शी कम्स टू सी हर सन हु इज इन हिज बेडरूम ऑन द बेड एंड शी वाज इंटेलिजेंट सो शी डिड नॉट सी दैट दिस इज नॉर्मल सो शी वेंट बैक एंड आस्क्ड हर सर्वेंट मेड सर्वेंट टू गेट द किड टू हर when the maid servant went she saw that his eyes were rolled upward and he's dead so at that time the maid servant starts crying she comes and now it's confirmed she was feeling this now she, it's confirmed that the kid is not sleeping so immediately she immediately falls unconscious because she loved him very much he was the only son everyone was jubilant after he was born and then everyone starts crying they come hearing this cries of the maid servant and the queen and everyone comes and when chitraketu comes to know of this king chitraketu he almost becomes blind he's trying to go over to his son's you know bedroom but then he's falling on his way and finally he reaches there and he sees his son crying and he falls unconscious and he's crying with open mouth so it's so painful and that is the case and at that time queen uh, krita duty she starts blaming the providence right she uh, starts saying that the oh, providence how is it possible that the son is dead before the father father is alive and it, if this is reversal of the circle in the purpose she the purpose says that this is how conditioned souls not understanding the law of karma and the process of this material world to that it is not a place for us to stay and enjoy actually it is the place for us where we want to get out of so the conditioned soul has the tendency if something bad happens in the life in life then they blame the god दुख में सुमिरन सब करे सुख में करे ना कोई जो सुख में सुमिरन करे दुख काहे को होए राइट व्हेन वन इज डिस्ट्रेस देन दे यू नो प्रे टू द लॉर्ड और इवन समटाइम्स ब्लेम द लॉर्ड वाइल इफ दे वर सपोज टू बी इफ दे वर प्रेइंग एंड सर्विंग व्हेन दे आर हैप्पी देन व्हाई वुड अन हैप्पीनेस हैव अकर सो दिस की इज टू टेक टू डिवोशन सर्विस एंड टू टेक टू डिवोशन सर्विस द की इज चैंटिंग ऑफ महामंत्र हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा सो एट दैट टाइम सच इज दू नो ग्रीवियस लेमेंटेशन गोइंग ऑन एंड वेन अंगीरा ऋषि ही कम्स टू नो ऑफ दिस ही टेक्स नारद बुनी एंड विस इज द किंग एंड दिस इज वेर द चैप्टर एंड एनी क्वेश्चन आर कमेंट्स गंतरा श्रीमद भागवतम की जय शिला प्रभुपात की जय नित्यानंद त्रयोदशी की जय निताय गो प्रेमानंदे ऑल ग्लोरी सम्बल डिवोटीज ऑल ग्लोरी सम्बल डिवोटीज ऑल ग्लोरी सम्बल डिवोटीज ऑल ग्लोरी ऑल ग्लोरी श्री श्री गुरु एंड गौरंग ऑल ग्लोरी श्री शिला प्रभुपात हरे कृष्ण गौरव की जय श्री श्री नित्यानंद की जय हरे कृष्ण